<laughs> Open up. Fuck! <laughs> I don't understand what the point of that is. So like a mirror in one of these dimensions or something? <laughs> Alright, this is what we do, chat. The thing is gonna shoot itself. So, what we need to do is we need to get the Blorbo onto that pedestal over there. Yeah, perfect. It's a very fine edge, not broken. Oh. I keep exploring those ones, those passages, hoping that they won't just lead to nowhere, and then they do. But you know what? It's, a, it's still cool. I still think it's neat. Okay. We nested with the other dimension. This game makes me feel smart, chat. Which makes it a good game. Games that make me feel smart mean good game. Asking a lot of me here, game.
Maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. Let's go. Let's go! Hell yeah, indeed. It's really gonna throw everything at us when it introduces the purple ball. That's gonna be fun, though. I'm looking forward to that. I love this little character design. They're so cool. Like a little tender guy. A guy who tends. Da -da 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 -da. Great. This is more of this fun stuff. Are you serious? Okay, 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 okay. Fuck you. Fucking get caught. I hate this. I can't even. I no cognizant thought can make it through my in my anger barrage. I, I can't think which direction is it gonna go. Okay. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. Okay. We're gonna shake it out. Okay, think about this. What do we gotta focus on? We don't gotta focus on the orbs. We gotta focus on the direction of the of the cubes. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I did go on the first one, then I got overloaded. Too many fails, man. Zargray! Welcome in, Zargray. How are you doing today, my friend? It's so good to see you. I'm playing the very surreal and strange cocoon. Yes! Yes! Okay. I'm just on like a mini boss fight or... No, no. Please don't go the other direction. Ah! Oh, missed my millimeter. Yes! No! How are you doing today, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Can I get a shout out for Zarkry? Oh, it's so close. You just finished Ghost Trick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I definitely have, have that on my list to play now. Especially after our chat about it uh, yesterday. It sounds like a really cool one. Yep. Come on. Oh. Are you sick? I missed my millimeters and the guy was like, get out of here. But yes, welcome in it. Erdemian uh, Sito. Erdemian Sito? I probably am absolutely 100. 
Yes, percent butchering it. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Just, just, just chill. Just relax. Yes. 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 Why do you gotta be like this game? It was a puzzle game. It wasn't a shooter. Yes! Ah. Oh. <sighs> hey, welcome in, Andy. Like, I love this game so much. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Oh, the lake area. That sounds lovely. Welcome in as well. It's nameless here. What's this game about? This is a fantastic question, Zarkrai. Oh, I gotta, I gotta do some Ganondorf uh, tennis. So this game is a puzzle game made by the people who made Limbo and uh, Inside. And we seem to be some kind of like multi-dimensional, like tender. Uh, we are like kind of like solving puzzles using different, using these different dimensions that have different abilities. And it's a very, it's very surreal. And the art design has been incredible. Life is what it is. This game is what it is. Get fucked. No, no, it worked. I see that it worked. Uh, I see that it worked, Goldman. The uh, the stream elements weren't worked. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. Yeah, give me your third. Give me that final eye. I want it. It's mine now. I earned it. Now you can't see me, sucker. Get out of here. That's right. Get out of here. That's right. Get wrecked, jump. He said, Wee! I got a Chivo. From now oh, until the ages of ages. Wee! <laughs> yeah, I think you would, I think you'd dig this one, Zarkray. It's also quite short. Played over the course of a shorter time frame. Oh, these are, I think, uh, some of the uh, some of the ancestors I've rescued. But yeah, Zarkra, if you got a raid and run, I totally understand. I know I'm usually beat after stream, but thank you so much for bringing your community on over. I super appreciate it. Uh, and if you aren't already following Zarkra, which you probably are, if you're if you're a local around here at the Guild House, uh, much like Zarkra is. Go make sure you draw, drop him a follow. Very talented, funny individual. And extremely smart. Um, hmm. I need some kind of... I need a blippy. I require a blink dog. We'll go receive it with a blink dog. I'm gonna use my gun. I think this is pretty much the end of the game, though. We've got all these, all these abilities and stuff. But that wants all three of the things to go onto it. Okay. Before we do that, is there anything more I can do with any of these other worlds? Like, is this red world just Dunzo? I'm trying to think, is there any other places? Oh no, I can't even go any other direction from here. It's gotta be Purple World. But I'm just gonna double check, just to be safe. Does it look super blown out for some reason? Oh no, of course, take your time, my friend. Okay.
And then this one. This one was a boss fight that I think we did, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess purple's all that's left. All right. There we go. So, okay, so it wants me to bring all of the... All the spheres in. Oh, I should probably do my spiel. Uh, you know, 10 minutes after the raid come in. Uh, I'm Tip of the Wizard. My pronouns are he, him. I do a variety of things, but mostly, actually, at this point, we do tabletop stuff. Uh, we do a lot of TTRPGs on Wednesdays, Sundays. Uh, we've got Tales of the Riot Nexus, which is a Spelljammer campaign, a high fantasy sci-fi campaign with uh, all of, in an original setting with original characters. It's a great time. Uh, that's on a brief hiatus. And uh, then we've also got uh, Sigil Community College, which is set in the legendary Planescape city of Sigil. And it's just a, a romp of a time. That one's like a higher level campaign. Um, and the party is attempting to get their degrees at the local community college in Sigil. It's a fun time. Yeah, D&D, &D, you got it. Uh, fifth edition, Dungeons and Dragons. And, um, and then we also have Dungeon of the Mad Mage, which is like the classic and titular Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Wizards of the Coast module, right? We do a ton of that kind of stuff around here. Uh, we also have the Guildhouse Discord, which where we play all kinds of games, uh, not just tabletop or not just D and D, but like um, other things such as uh, lots of people have been running different other. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, lots of folks have been running other systems such as uh, Vampire the Masquerade. There's a VTM game going on currently. Uh, that's being run by Werewolf. That's set in 1912. Um, that one's really cool. That one's been a really neat game so far. Okay, so what we want to do is... I think we want to shoot this thing over here. Or actually, let's, let's pass through and see what's on the side. Well, I guess you could just hit the button and transfer it manually. Do it by hand. Oh, thank you so much, Zarkrai. Zarkrai's a really fun player to play with. I have not had the opportunity to play too much with them, but when I have, they have been a very enjoyable person to have at the table. And I'm still looking forward to them running something eventually, when, if and when they get the opportunity and, and have the time. I know they run a... a um, I know that uh, he's run a... Oh, another orb. Okay, cool. So I can transfer this back and forth. So I can put... Hmm. I mean, I could just transfer the other one. But that one. But yeah, we got a lot of DMs in the server, actually. Um, it's also a great place to talk about, like, tabletop stuff in general. If you if you are interested in that kind of thing. Or wanting to learn more. Or, like, um, we talk about, like, things going on in this space, too. It's also like a general hangout space, too, where lots of people like hang out throughout the day. And they do co-working, all kinds of neat stuff. It's a really, it's kind of been popping off in this, in the second half of this year. It really, it really started to kick off. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get that wide orb across. Well, I guess I'm not. Yeah, we have all the uh, tabletop stuff cut up. Well, not all of it. We kind of started, kind of started doing that a little bit later in the year. Um, but we did. Uh, 
uh, some of the stuff in on the there's there's the YouTube channel which is like the archive and it's all kind of cut up and kind of edited down a little bit so that way it's a little bit more convenient to to consume. Oh, nice. Here we go. Honestly, being a beginner is super exciting. Wow, this is cool. Being a beginner is is exceptionally exciting because lots of um, I, I love playing with beginners personally because you see people who are beginners do stuff that like seasoned people would never would never do, and it's always super fascinating to me. Huh? How am I gonna get that orb across? And I also think that it helps that my style is a lot more newer player friendly than I feel like a lot of DM styles can be. I don't think there's anything over here. Okay, how are we going to do this? I'm going to have to apply my brain. Oh, dear. Because I'm very much like very pro player, very uh, very much like a player advocate, and like am oh well, I can go check out what's to the north. That might be a good idea. Excuse me. What the fuck are you? Because I I really like. Oh, we're here. We're here. We're here. So if I do this, I'm gonna come out the white hole. I came out the green one. Am I screwed? <laughs> oh no, because now I can go back in here, like this. Okay, okay, okay. That's really useful, but I'm not sure how. It's happening again. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think that, oh. Because that's another thing about D&D is that like, there's so many different types and styles of D&D that you can play as well, that it's like, even if you for if you play something for the first time and it's not your style or it's not really your vibe, I think that's valid because like everybody has different tastes on their different kind of the different kinds of things that they enjoy, right? The different types of media and stuff. How am I gonna do this? Do I go into this in here? Oh, thanks, Dark Ray. I think also it maybe helps a little bit that we're all neurodivergent folks as well. You know what I mean? Where it's like, hmm. like as a result of that, like I think, and we don't use cams either, right? So we kind of, there. there's a little bit of a bigger precedent and need to use like descriptive colorful language and, and, and stuff like that. I'm genuinely not sure what to do. I can't go anywhere from here. This this area is a complete dead end at this point. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Although I will say in the new upcoming seasons of both Sigil Community College and Tales of the Riot Nexus, we are going to be 
using battle maps uh, and visual aids on screen and stuff like that. Which is going to be quite different than, than before. Am I missing? What am I missing here? I gotta be missing something. God dang it. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's think this through. Let's think this through. So, we've got the green orb here. The green orb... Gives us access to this spot, which we can change the location of. That's not super relevant right now. We can place the orbs there. We can go this path to the south. But I can't affect multiple... Hmm, I can't affect it at the same time. Hmm... This is so curious. Okay, let's think, let's think. Hmm. Hmm. I've not heard of Quest Portal, but yeah, Roll Twenty is a is a big one for me. I'm actually a Roll Twenty uh, Roll Twenty ambassador. Um, I'm part of their ambassador program, where we like do outreach and stuff for for Roll Twenty a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm a big I'm a big Roll Twenty fan. I use it for like all my shows actually. I've not heard of Quest Portal though. That sounds like a lot of that sounds like a cool one. Yeah, the amount of resources online and for D&D &D is both ridiculously extensive and also still growing, which is, like, just super wild to me. Like, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Ennies at all, but it's like a tabletop award show that, that happens. And... Come on, just do it. Do the thing. Uh, it's a tabletop award show that happens, and uh, one of the categories is like digital tools how am I going to get back to you and some of those digital tools are incredible like there's like a there was one that I, I don't know if it ended up winning um, it looks promising cool I don't know if it ended up winning, but it was like a, it, it basically generated a hex grid of totally like random and unique uh, terrain and features, factions, towns with people, stores, all named and stuff. It, it was really, really cool. Um, such a, such a neat, such a neat concept, basically a campaign in a box to go. Rams, did I fuck this? I think I might have fucked this, dude. I think I might be soft locked. I I'm serious. I I think I might have screwed myself. I I I genuinely don't know what to do. I think I might have fucked up. I'm still good. Okay. What do I do next? That act. 
activated that. Both those two locations are dead zones. They don't go anywhere. If I take this... There's something under the water over here, too. But I can't... It's not like I could drop the orb or anything. I can only put the orb down into a spot. Hmm. This is wrinkling my brain, dude. Okay. How do I get the second one to here? I mean, does this work? If I put this, did I forget a basic property of the game? <laughs> I was literally about to ask for a hint grabs, but then I just had an idea, but I appreciate you. If this doesn't work, I might ask for, I might ask for a little hint. Okay, I've gotten the music, so I've solved the puzzle. But is this going to... It's still not heavy enough, though. Okay, but... But... I come out here. And then I come out here. Oh my god, that's... This is wrinkling my freaking brain, dude. That's crazy. Holy shit. Wow, okay. <sighs> Mother of Pearl. <sighs> gotta, gotta do the nesting. And that's, that's, that's some wild, wild stuff. Just take a look see. Just a little look see. Okay. It's containing itself? Oh right. The thing contains itself. So strange. Okay. Oh, now we're really getting strange. This is so bizarre. I love this. Because we've completely fundamentally broken space at this point, right? Space is because we've looped, we've looped in on ourselves. That's so interesting. Oh, I can't even go this way. I gotta go out, except I'm not going out. I'm staying at the same level. Wait, I don't want to go just yet. I want to. I want to try to. Is 
see if I can invert the, the platform so I can go up that one over there. That's a bridge too far. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. I don't think I can. Oh my gosh, Dark Ray. Yeah, hit the hit the A, my friend. Thank you so much for the raid again, though. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening and get some good sleep. I will talk to you soon, my friend. Always, always a treat. <laughs> you as well. I'll catch you later. All right. Where are we off to now? Is this thing? So I see the two here. It's a very clear two. Looks like maybe six. I don't know. This one is not clicking with me. The reflections in the water four one
something. Three. Five. Shit, what was it? <laughs> Fuck. Last digit is five. Four. Three. Or four, one, something. Four, one, two, three, five. Four, one, two, three, five. Four. Let's go. I was like, what am I supposed to be looking for? <laughs> Some of these puzzles are a little obtuse, I would say. It's just a little, just a little obtuse. I don't know how I figured that out, to be honest. No, oh, frick. Like, were there several solutions to that puzzle? That's that's wild. I I I I genuinely do not know how I figured that out. <laughs> Honestly, that uh, <laughs> normally uh, uh, that would be beyond a level of perception that I would be able to have. It was just such a small detail. Anyways, yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm just built different. Ten minutes? That seems more than fair, honestly. I honestly <laughs> I really don't know how I did that. There was no indication of any any anything, right? Like Like I genuinely do not know how you're supposed to figure that one out. How many dead languages could there be in a game? Turns out, a lot. I was hoping that this would just... Defeat 
that the this drone over here, but I guess not. Yeah, I, I, I must have hit that perception check. I, I must have hit that perception check high. You know, that must have been a high roll. You rolled just what you needed. You barely beat that DC. Now you're back on your feet. I gotta come up with some more like D and D parody songs like that. There's something there. There's something there. You rolled just what you needed. You know it's another game that I haven't played but I own. Freaking Hyperlight Drifter, dog. Let's go, Blinky. What a little legend he is. We're just gonna plonk this right here. Right here. Right here. Come along, green blorb. That requires the red orb now. I guess we're just leaving the green ore behind. Because I don't see any way to get it. So we're gonna there's another reality above this one? How freaking cozy are we? Just need any orb? That's a fucking problem. Eat it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, how are we gonna get that green one back across this, the chasm? I don't think we can. Wait a minute. We don't need to get the the green one back across the chasm. We just need to get the red one back across the chasm. We can hide the green one in the red one. Run, 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 Interesting how it slammed shut behind me as if it knew. Ooh. And the diamond turned off. It can never be activated again. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Wee! All right. Let's start slamming him in this guy. Green, purple, white, orange. 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 Gotta do this in reverse order. Interesting. Green, purple, white, orange. Here we go. All right, I got the offering. Let's go. You love to see it. The one true reality. Where is this thing? Wow. 
me. To the top. And away. All right. Welcome to America. Okay. Mmm, s'mores dimension. Huh. <laughs> wow, okay. I did it! Huzzah! That is like one of the few games I beat in 2023 on the stream. <laughs> and just in Under the Wire, too. Let's go! Amazing. That was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. I... What a fascinating ending. I wonder whether or not there's a, like a secret ending. You know what I mean? Like whether or not there's a... What an interesting game. Post credit scene? Hmm. Interesting. Very, very curious. Huh. And I would assume that it would have a, maybe a slightly different ending if, um, if I had gotten all the angel statues or the ancestors or what have you. Man, so interesting though. So, so interesting. Because it almost feels like... Like a little bit like a Dark Souls, right? Like it feels like our character was maybe born to take the place of these magnets who were these like rulers who had also been imprisoned and, and contained in order to ascend past their containment. I don't know. Really, really interesting. 
Very, very, very strange, very surreal. And a great time all around. But thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, thank you to all the Lurkish channels, everybody hanging out. This has been Cocoon. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you uh, drop a follow on the channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell us what you liked, what you enjoyed. And yeah, thank you again for watching. And until next time, don't forget to stay magical. Bye, Jeff.